Hello everyone, we have a 99 Chevy Suburban 1500. We got several uh, issues on this vehicle, and in this case what we're going to do is we have the passenger side window is not going uh, up, and so we're going to work on that in this here video. Probably be a couple of videos here on this one. One to take the door panel off, another one say to take the regulator off, and we may have another video to put it in all showing it going back together. So first thing I'm going to show you is I want to show you the problem. All right, on this one here, I'm going to show you what a good one looks like on the driver's side. All right, so we're going to raise it up. Notice how the window stays in the track all the way up, okay? Stays in the track going all the way down, okay? Now let's go over to the passenger side. Okay, now we're on the passenger side, so let's raise it up. Now right now you can see that the window is out of the track, so we know we have a problem. Now you see it's starting to lean over. And it's getting really tight, and this is about as far as it'll go up. So I'm going to lower it all the way down. And now we're going to go ahead and take this door panel off. Let's see what's going on in there. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the negative battery cable here. Okay. So let's tuck him down there and get him out of the way. All right, first thing I think we'll do is we're going to remove this shark fin. Now... Come up here at the top, get you a little pry bar. Now there it looks like there's one fastener in there. And you can see there's a you can see the white insert. There's the fastener. I'm gonna to try to get inside in here, and I'm gonna to try to pry this thing apart. that little joker is in there. Mm. Okay. So, now you can see what it looks like. Okay, it's got the little barb, uh, barb ridges there on the end. Alright, so you get in there with a pry bar, pry it back, and then you can see it just Alright, in this up. here, next procedure, we're going to be removing these here two bolts. It's down here in the armrest. That's a seven millimeter socket for that. All right, just to give you a shot of the length of the screws. Okay. All right, let's remove this here switch panel right here. So I'm gonna get me a rag and I'm gonna get up underneath there and I'm gonna see if we can't pry this thing out. Okay, so we lift that up. Now once we lift it up, we should slide it this way. I believe that's when it's gonna come out. Okay, there we go. So now we have the whole thing out. All right, let's, uh, let's separate these connectors. First one I'm gonna do is this here tweeter. Now look at this connector. You got this here tab right here. We're gonna push it down. I'm gonna push it down with my finger. And as I push it down, it'll separate. All right, on this one right here, take a small screwdriver. I'm gonna take this tab. I'm gonna lift it up slightly and I'm gonna unhook him. All right, this one right here, we're going to take this tab right here, we're going to push it in, and while we push this in, we're going to lift it out. So now, hopefully it should come out of there. Okay, so now he's out. I think what we're going to try to do now is take this outer bezel off. So right up here at the top, we're going to get a little pried out just a little bit, get a screwdriver back, right, kind of work itself around, come around here on the side, let's see if we can thing off of here. Alright guys, we'll show you something here with this outer bezel. Now this thing took 15, about 15 minutes to, to get this thing off because the, the problem is you could not see the catch to see which way this thing was uh, going up or was going down. 
Now, in the first part you saw, you come up under here, and you want to go up under here and raise it up. Now what that's going to do is you're going to raise this up. So you're going to raise that catch. Look at this top catch. See how it's going down? So when you raise it up, now you can pry it out. Now the problem where I had was this here bottom catch. I could not tell whether this here catch was at the top or was it going to the bottom. So what I did, once I pried it down and I could see that this here catch is going up to the top. So I took a wide screwdriver and got in there and just pushed down and then pulled it out and then it came out with no problem. So like I said, catch on the bottom, going up. Catch on the top is going down, okay? And there's a back shot of it so you can see it. So you can see the catch. There, top, there's one for the bottom, okay? And then it's also got two catches on the side, but once you get the top off, it'll pop, it'll pop out. But then you're gonna find this bottom one's gonna hold you in place. All right, what you wanna do now is we're gonna remove the fasteners that's holding this here door panel, start down at the bottom. Now you can see right now, this thing has already been into. Now I can feel there's a fastener right there, but it's, uh, it's bent, so whoever put it back together, they didn't line up the uh, fastener with the hole, pushed it in and bent that fastener. This one over here, I can feel the fastener, but it's not in. There's a fastener totally missing. This one over here, don't feel the fastener. So anyway, what you want to do is you want to start down at the bottom, kind of pry it out. What I like to use is a zip clip tool. So you can use this tool to pry it out, and then once you find the fastener, Take the fastener, slide this over the fastener, and then what'll happen is you'll squeeze it and it'll pull that, pull it right apart. So since the fastener is already released on the bottom, then we're gonna start working our way up. And we're gonna try to see where the fastener is at. Okay, that came out pretty good. Okay, let me get some over here on this side. Yeah, this is actually not that secure, it looks like. Uh, let's see if we can find one over here. Okay. That's one. That's one. Now we should be able, I think they're all released now. So we should be able to just take this door panel and just lift it up. Okay, now we have a light right here. So, well, he just popped out of there. He probably wasn't even secure anyway. All right, we're looking uh, looking over the back of the door panel now. Okay, if you look right here, you see that's broke. Okay, so definitely, you know, somebody's been in here. Uh, we see right there, as the uh, holder for the fastener. He looks okay, he looks okay. Okay, he looks all right. Now here's the one I was telling you about the fastener was bent. So When you put it back together, how could you overlook that, you know? So there's one that's screwed up and then we got one here. The holder looks good. Holder looks good. Holder looks good. Holder looks good. And that one there is broke off it looks like as far as the barb. Okay, so it looks like we got Hopefully we try to replace all these fasteners here. Okay, I didn't really uh, show you about this zip clip tool and this really works great if you've got fasteners that has a retainer which has a spring clip around it. Now those jokers are really really tight and this thing really works good on it. But when you have these fasteners that's got these here bobs on it, the pry tool works good. A lot of times you just get in there and just pull it out with your hands. But I just want to show you just how this thing would work. Once you slide it over the fastener, you can see that when you pull on it, it pulls it straight out, right? So if you use a pry tool, a lot of times what will happen is these fasteners will start to bend. And then you got to turn around and buy another one. So this is where it does good because it pulls it straight out, okay? Okay, okay. I'm going to close this video out. This here will show the door panel. And uh, next video, what we're going to do is we're going to remove this here inner door panel right here. All right. So y'all stay tuned and uh, we'll be ready to take this off.